Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use this um, two-tone doodle alphabet frame set that I have in Canva. So this is something that I offer in my Etsy shop. Here we are in the Etsy shop and you can see the listing is here. It is um, $4.75. I will put a link to this so that you can purchase it if you would like. Um, but I'm going to show you how to use it and what all you can do with it today in this tutorial. So this is the um, Canva template that you will get. You do not have to have um, Canva Pro to be able to use this template, but you do have to have a Canva account. You will get a PDF when you purchase the file. It will link to this template. You'll make a copy of it. You can see I've already made a copy of this so that I'm not doing anything on the actual template that users are currently using. Um, but anyway, so here we go. You're gonna get the full alphabet. Um, you get upper and lower case for each letter. You get all of the numbers plus your common punctuation um, and symbols. And then you know, here's just one of the little um, samples that I made. Here's another one. This is the one that I used in the Etsy listing. But I'm going to uh, recreate this for you here in this tutorial. Let me just move this page up so that we can work on it. Um, so what you want to do when you first download uh, or you first make a copy of the template, all of these letters are grouped together. There are several um, individual items inside each letter. So uh, let's see here. Let's just grab the letters for summer. So what you wanna do is come grab an S and just right click and copy it and then come down to the page you wanna work on and paste it. It pasted, oh, it didn't get the whole thing. That one was not grouped together, probably because I already worked with it. Let me group it together. Okay, so right click, copy, Bring it down here and paste it. So now we need a U. Let's go get the U. And just in case, I'm gonna group that together. Okay, right click, uh, copy, down here and paste. Now you don't actually have to copy and paste these. You can go ahead and use what's already in here. Um, you can start filling your frames just from this page. But once you do that, it's going to save whatever you've done. Canva all, always saves whatever you're working on. So if you change anything or delete anything, you can't get it back. So I suggest just leaving these first two pages as is. So you will always have all of your letters and all of your numbers and all the frames that you need and just making copies of the letters that you need and working with them on another page. Uh, let's go grab the M. If you don't see it immediately, it's on your page somewhere and you just gotta go kind of find it. Okay, so for now, you don't need to worry about where these letters are. You know, I kind of like overlapped and enlarged and just made it a fun looking little font up here. But for now, let's just fill this with um, the designs that we want. So within each letter, I'm gonna ungroup this. Within each letter, there is a top layer. That is your outline. You must move the outline before you can access the frames. The outline is on top. It needs to be on top because it's going to cover all of the overlaps that are within the design. Let me blow this up even more so you can really see. Let's see. Let's just really hone in on that S there. That might be a little too big. Okay. So you can see if I move this off and I move this frame off, there's some imperfections here. This was done intentionally so that everything overlaps the way it is supposed to, but once you put its thing back on top and you grab every part that you're supposed to grab, it all fits in together. Move the outline layer off of the top so that you can access your frames. I'm gonna go ahead and put this frame back in here where it was. Okay, so there are two frames. This frame down here for the bottom of the letter, this frame here for the dots in the little um, line, and then this part is a solid color. You can change it 
to any color you want. The outline is also a solid color that you can change to any color you want. All right, so let's get some paper for this S. So I'm gonna come into Elements. I'm just gonna go through what I've recently used. Okay, so um, I typed in Hawaiian floral background and it gave me these great um, backgrounds to use. So I'm gonna throw this one into the S. Once it fills it up, you're good to go. Let me ungroup the U. I'm going to put this one into the U. I'm gonna move this over. Let's ungroup the M, move the top off, and I will put, where's that orangey one? Here we go, this one into the M. Okay, you would continue filling the rest of yours however you want. I'm just gonna stop right there, and I'm gonna take this green, and I'm going to fill the other parts, the little dots. So I've got this green glitter paper. Let me blow this back up so you can see what we're doing. I don't know why those guys moved. Okay, this is a frame. If I take this green glitter, pop it into the frame. I know that's really hard to see, but I can tell that it went into my frame because all of those dots and that line down there have a purple outline around them. That went into the frame. Same thing here, into the frame. Let me go put it in the M as well, into the frame, okay? And then all we need to do is take our outline, bring it back and put it on the top. And let's say, um, no, first of all, let's say I don't want this paper to look like that. I can double click into this and I can enlarge this paper. I can move it around. I can get more of the leaves in there if that's what I want. I can get more of the flowers in there if that's what I want. I could make it smaller. You can do whatever you want. So then let's take this outline, put it back on the top. All right, and um, we'll just leave that outline black. Now that we are completely done with this letter, we need to group everything back together. So just drag a little box around it, group it. Actually, I'm not done with that. I wanna change the color of the top. So I'm gonna click on the top of my S and I'm going to change it to, what color was it up there? That really pretty blue, okay. There we go. Now I'll put that back on top. Did not mean to lock it. Um, drag my box around everything, group it together. Okay, let's change the pattern here in the U. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Make sure that pineapple can be seen over there on that part of the U. Beautiful. Um, what color is the top of the U? It's like a yellow. Okay, so we're gonna come here, click our color box, get this yellow going, awesome, and bring that back down. Something you wanna pay attention to we want to make sure that um, this black outline is the absolute top layer. Do you see what's happening here? This frame is overlapping the outline over here. Y'all see that? So what we want to do is move the frame just a little bit to make sure it's completely within. And then we want to click our outline and just move it to the front. If it somehow got repositioned, position it back up to the front so that it covers any imperfection that might be visible in that letter. Okay, group our U together. We're gonna do it one more time for the M. We're going to change the color of the M. What was it? A pink, a pretty pink. Click my color box, pink, beautiful. Grab my outline. Increase the size of the screen so I can make sure I'm putting the outline exactly where it needs to go. There it is. Group all of that together. Okay. And from there, you can um, resize things if you want. You can decide if you want something on top or behind. I'll put this one 
backwards. Let me go grab this M and make it a little bit bigger. Let's go put that behind the U. So from there, once you get your patterns in there and all of your colors and everything the way you want, then you can arrange your word the way you want it. Um, on this one, I did the exact same thing. I just chose different colors of pink glitter to fill the bottom and then fill the dots. And then I put the outline around it and scrunched all the letters where I wanted them. But if you did, um, let me duplicate this duplicate get a new page here and make that a little bit smaller add a page let's bring this duplicated item down okay so I'm gonna ungroup this whole thing here and let's say that I wanted these outlines to be um, a different color blue so I'm gonna come in here and um, let's come get like that is horrible that that's terrible i don't know why anyone would do that anyways you can change their colors that gray might might be okay and once i changed its color i realized that it was overlapping a little bit so i'm going to scooch it over i need to click it one more time there we go now it's more lined up so that's how you're going to use the frame you can change the colors of any of these pieces only let me get back up in here let's work on this here only the bottom of your letter and the inner dots and this line are frames that's where you put things this is one frame this is a separate frame if you do not want something that's patterned to be in your frame that's okay like say you want these dots to be a solid color you don't want them to have any type of pattern or glitter no worries it's ungroup I think it already is okay so I'm going to um, got to move the frame out of the way there we go okay I'm gonna right click and I'm going to release or detach that image that had the pink glitter I'm gonna delete that now I've got my frame back. Let's say I want it to be um, white. I want these just to be solid white dots. So I'm gonna come into my elements and I'm just gonna type white background. And I'm gonna to come to graphics. And I'm just gonna find something that appears to be a solid white. Let's see here. This was probably my best bet. So just take this and drag that in there. And now there's a solid color instead of that patterned thing. And we can take this and put it back on top and make sure it lines up perfectly. I'm gonna turn that back to black because I just can't stand any other color on there. Okay, but that's how you can also fill those with solid colors. Let's say we want this to be a solid pink. Well, let me detach the image, delete that glitter, and let's go find a pink background. Okay, again, we're gonna come to graphics and you're gonna find something that's the color you want it to be. Um, let's see, this is good. Just take that. Not every single thing is gonna work in a frame. So if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I was trying to find something else that was that pink. Let's see. There we go. And then we'll take, not that. Where's the top of my K? Here it is. Okay. And you can fill these with solid colors as well. You are not limited to patterns. You can use anything that tickles your fancy to fill these frames. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you. We'll see you next time.